internet, I just found out that saying guys is sexist, or might be sexist, or there's some debate over whether or not it's sexist. I think it's time to bring bees back. Let's discuss. I know. What? Let me explain. Many people will use the term guys to refer to a group of people that are not all guys. Sometimes it's mostly women or all women. This happens all the time. I do this. Everyone does this. The idea is that using guys as the default for any group of people, even when they're all women, is subconsciously reinforcing- Ugh! Don't you have anything better to worry about? Beagle. Like a man. Hey, Migo. I don't know, like, um, the war on women's health or the wage gap? Wait, now you care about the war on women's health? Oh, yeah. I mean, if it helps me to undermine feminist voices. <laughs> oh my god. Get what? out. But I just started. I have much more to say about up. Oh. So, words mean things. Okay. Are you with me? And if you were to say, that guy, the listener knows you're talking about a man person. It's kind of like mailman. Quick, think of a mailman. Were they a man? Probably. And we all know that mailmen are women all the time. But using male words as the default changes the way we think about things because that's how brains work. Got it? Is guys the same word as guy, basically. You can tell yourself that it's different all you want. But that doesn't change the fact that inside the little brain language storage parts of your brain, guys is just more than one guy. So yeah, it is kind of sexist. Or more likely, it's a symptom of the fact that our society is sexist. And the fact that we barely notice it shows how deeply ingrained it is. But does this really matter if hardly anyone notices it? If no one notices something, it must be harmless, right? Just a friendly reminder that operating on a subconscious level and having no negative effects are not the same thing. In fact, looking at our linguistic patterns can actually tell us a whole lot about where our potentially harmful negative biases exist. <laughs> Changing my behavior is <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so maybe it's a pain in the ass. And maybe it's more of a symptom rather than a huge problem in itself. But making the effort to stop saying guys as your default can be a helpful regular reminder to take women and other non-male people into account. And that is valuable, especially for you, guys. Well, can I just say that as a lady person, I don't mind being called guys because I have so thoroughly integrated male as default, being the foundation of ingrained patriarchy that I don't even notice it anymore, so I'm good. But I'll try. I'll try for the children. It's not too late for them. Now, obviously there is a need for a truly gender neutral plural pronoun here. I just don't know what to use. I've heard y'all or folks. Very plebeian. I'm gonna just start saying peasants. What's up, peasants? That's not problematic at all. <laughs>